My name is Jovencio de La Paz. I am a weaver working with digital technology. I'm from Eugene, Oregon, where I am an associate professor and head of the fiber program at the University of Oregon. One of my first weaving teachers, Bhakti Zeek, said that the mother of all metaphor is the ocean, but a close second is weaving. It is such an ancient process ingrained in so many cultures around the world and is often thought of as a representation of time. Primarily because weaving is so slow, but also we think about the thread of timeline or the thread of life. When I was a student at the School of the Arts Institute in Chicago, we had acquired this digital loom, which is known as a thread controller. It talks directly to a computer, and the computer and the artist can control the patterns that emerge in the textile. And it's actually a, an emergent technology that was developed based upon 18th century punch card jacquard looms became really curious about the history of computer technology and we see like a really clear line from blooms of the 18th century and then the first IBM computers which were also run using punch card. The loom and the computer are both binary machines. They understand things in binary code. The software that I use is based on a historic software from the 1950s. I write unique programs and software that generate patterns algorithmically. I'm evolving weave structures. They are growing and the textile sort of grows based on algorithmic ideas. I was raised in an intellectual tradition at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago in their fiber program, which emphasized this idea that the methods we choose, the processes, the materials, they are as important to the meaning of the work as whatever the final work looks like in the end. I approach the loom much more like a playground to experiment than as a purely an output device. The natural thing for me is to try and think about how do I take my interest in the tactile, in texture, and then translate that into the digital loom. And the way I found to do that is rather than just sort of output a file, I do a lot of pretty intuitive experimentation behind this pretty rigorous digital tool. I'm working in collaboration with three parties, the computer software that I design, the loom itself, and then my intuition behind the loom. Often very unexpected things happen, and sometimes things don't work at all. I'm drawn to those moments when those unexpected moments occur. Combinations of color that I wasn't anticipating at the loom or certain sculptural qualities in the textile, I follow those. The textile isn't designed by me, it, it grows on, on its own um, and sort of emerges at the loom in that way. My work has a lot of different entry points. Some viewers, the entry point is simply through the experience of the surface and the formal qualities of the cloth. Technology evolves so quickly, we don't really have a chance to reflect very much on the implications of any moment of innovation. Right around 2009, my mom became really interested in learning to weave, so I bought her a loom and I taught her to weave, and then my grandmother got really interested in it, and so my mom taught my grandmother. And it was this weird reversal. We tend to think of weaving as something that is passed from mother to daughter, and here I am pushing that flow of knowledge backwards. The textile always is like one of these materials that is so close to the body, like so close to our physical experience, that they can't help but absorb something of a person. The yarn that was tied together, each of those knots, like feeling her presence just a little bit beyond the surface. I'm taking those blankets and making quite a monumental mural-sized piece that is about all of these, these subjects. Absence, lineage, how a person, after they're gone, can be embedded in the things that they've touched over time. And one of the responsibilities is to contemplate the present, but I also think art and design and craft are technologies which we use to talk to the future, a way to extend the reality of our personhood.